For those interested in exploring beyond Beijing and Shanghai, Chongqing's Dazu rock carvings offer a unique cultural experience. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, dating back to the 7th century, includes 75 protected locations with around 50,000 statues that blend Buddhist, Confucian, and Taoist influences. The carvings, found in rock-cut cave shrines and reliefs on cliffs, depict deities, moral teachings, and daily life. Famous sites like Baoding Shan and Beishan showcase the artistic detail and spiritual significance of this ancient work, offering a window into China's rich heritage and a place for quiet reflection amidst Chongqing's scenic hills. Aachen Cathedral, located in western Germany, is among Europe's oldest cathedrals, consecrated in 805 under the orders of Charlemagne, who was buried there in 814. This architectural marvel became the coronation site for 31 German kings and 12 queens between 936 and 1531. It showcases an impressive blend of Carolingian Romanesque and Gothic styles, along with Etonian influences. The richly decorated interior houses the throne of Charlemagne, adding to its historical and cultural significance. Today, Aachen Cathedral stands as a symbol of the Holy Roman Empire's legacy and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, drawing visitors from around the world. The Guri Amir Mausoleum in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, stands as a testament to Timur also known as Tamerlane, the Turco-Mongol conqueror and forefather of the Mughal Empire's founder, Babur. This 15th century architectural masterpiece served as a model for later Mughal constructions, including the renowned Taj Mahal. Guri Amir translates to Tomb of the King, and this complex not only holds Timur's tomb, but also those of his sons, grandsons, and his teacher. The mausoleum is distinguished by its striking light blue dome and intricate geometric tile patterns in shades of blue and white, making it the crown jewel of Samarkand, once the heart of Timur's empire. The Ajanta Caves in Maharashtra's Aurangabad district are a remarkable showcase of ancient Indian art and architecture, comprising around 30 rock-cut Buddhist caves dating from the 2nd century BC to about 480 AD. Carved directly into a 246-foot high rock cliff, these ancient monasteries and temples served as both places of worship and monastic residences. Each cave features intricate carvings and vivid murals, illustrating the life and teachings of the Buddha, which later inspired religious artwork across Asia. The caves highlight the artistic and cultural sophistication of early Indian civilization, with a design that harmonizes spiritual intent and natural beauty. Just over 60 miles from the Ajana Caves, the Ellora Caves in Maharashtra are an extraordinary complex of ancient rock-cut temples and monasteries carved between 600 and 1000 AD. Out of over 100 excavated caves in the basalt cliffs, 34 are open to visitors today, each showcasing monumental Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain artwork and architecture. These sites stand as a testament to India's religious diversity and artistic achievements during this period, with intricate carvings, sculptures, and massive structures like the Kailasa Temple, a stunning Hindu monument carved from a single rock and dedicated to Lord Shiva. Between the 9th and 13th centuries, Bagan served as the prosperous capital of the Pagan Kingdom, the first realm to unite the regions of present-day Myanmar. At its peak, particularly from the 11th to 13th centuries, Bagan was adorned with more than 10,000 Buddhist temples, monasteries, and pagodas spread across the plains. Although time has taken its toll, over 2,200 of these sacred structures still stand, offering a glimpse into Bagan's spiritual and architectural legacy. Today, this remarkable landscape is celebrated as one of the world's most significant archaeological and religious sites. Barcelona is an incredible destination, largely due to the imaginative work of Spanish architect Antoni Gaudi. After exploring the renowned, still unfinished Sagrada Familia, venture to the heart of the city to admire Casa Batlo, another of Gaudi's masterful creations. Redesigned by him in 1904, this distinctive house captivates with its flowing, organic design, featuring irregular windows, a facade adorned with colorful mosaics, an undulating, arched roof, and an overall structure that evokes a skeletal form. 
Casa Batlo stands as a vibrant example of Gaudi's signature modernism style and imaginative architectural approach. Petra, the ancient city in present-day Jordan, may have origins as early as 9000 BC and became the Nabataean Kingdom's capital by the 4th century BC. Renowned for its remarkable water conduit system and captivating rock-cut architecture, Petra earned the name Rose City for the pinkish hues of its sandstone cliffs from which many structures were carved. This UNESCO World Heritage Site boasts iconic landmarks like al Khazna, the treasury, and the monastery, blending natural beauty and architectural mastery in one of the ancient world's most innovative cities. The Great Pyramid of Cholula, situated in central Mexico, is a massive pre-Hispanic steppe pyramid and ancient temple complex, likely dedicated to the god Quetzalcoatl. Appearing as a natural hill from afar, it is crowned today by the Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de los Remedios, a colonial-era church. The pyramid's enormous base and volume make it the largest pyramid by area in the world, surpassing even Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. This unique blend of indigenous and colonial heritage draws visitors, showcasing the layers of Mexican history within a single landmark. The Garuda Wisnu Kinkana statue in Bali is the tallest statue of a Hindu deity globally, standing at nearly 400 feet. Located within Garuda Wisnu Kinkana Cultural Park, this monumental structure portrays Vishnu, one of Hinduism's principal deities, astride his mythical bird mount, Garuda, as they seek the elixir of life, Amrita. Completed in 2018 after 28 years of meticulous work, the statue also holds the title of Indonesia's tallest, symbolizing spiritual protection and the island's rich cultural heritage, drawing visitors from around the world to witness its majestic scale and intricate artistry. A hot air balloon ride over the enchanting Cappadocia region in Turkey is a must-do for any traveler, offering breathtaking views of the unique landscape. However, the real marvel lies beneath the surface. Durinquiu, an ancient underground city that extends up to 200 feet deep. Completed during the Byzantine era, this remarkable complex has roots that date back to the 8th and 7th centuries BC. Durinquiu was ingeniously designed to provide safety from invaders, featuring heavy stone doors that could seal off access. Capable of accommodating thousands of inhabitants, it included spaces for livestock and food storage, making it a self-sufficient refuge during times of danger. This hidden city reflects the ingenuity and resilience of its ancient builders, inviting exploration and admiration. The Bano rice terraces, located in the Philippines, are a stunning testament to the ingenuity of the indigenous Ifugo people who carved these terraces into the mountains over 2,000 years ago. Often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, these terraces resemble a breathtaking landscape from another planet. Believed to have been primarily created by hand, the terraces showcase an intricate irrigation system that channels water from the surrounding rainforests, ensuring the land remains fertile. Even today, rice and a variety of vegetables are cultivated on these ancient terraces, continuing a tradition that has sustained generations of Ifugo farmers. The Bano rice terraces not only represent agricultural brilliance, but also embody the rich cultural heritage of the Ifugo people, making them a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a captivating destination for visitors from around the globe. The ruins of Leptis Magna, an ancient city that flourished under both the Carthaginian Empire and later the Roman Empire. Libya located approximately 80 miles east of Tripoli in the coastal city of Calms. Renowned as one of the best-preserved Roman sites in the Mediterranean, Leptis Magna offers visitors a glimpse into its grand past through its remarkable architectural remains. The site features a well-preserved Roman theater and amphitheater, both of which served as venues for entertainment and public events. Additionally, the ancient marketplace and forum showcase the city's role as a vital commercial and civic center in its time. Among its notable structures is the impressive triumphal arch known as the Arch of Septimius Severus, commissioned by the native Roman emperor who hailed from Leptis Magna. This magnificent arch stands as a testament to the city's historical significance and artistic achievement, making Leptis Magna a captivating destination for those interested in ancient history and architecture.